What's good, Josh? Your boy Ross back at again with another video. So, I just saw the much anticipated official footage from the incident that involved Jack Perry and CM Punk last year. Now, they were hyping this up since like last week, saying they were going to show the footage after the whole CM Punk. Uh, went on Ariel Hawani's podcast. Talk about what happened that uh, infamous day. And when I found this out, <clears throat> initially I was like, what's the point? Like, what what is the purpose in doing this? How does this benefit your program now? You're literally showing footage of a guy that's not even in your company anymore. How does this help anything going forward? Is this a way to get Jack Perry back on AEW television? Is this a way to push, you know, his character, his heel gimmick or whatever? I don't know because from what CM Punk has said in plenty of reports that he jacked up Jack Perry. And uh, it doesn't make sense to show this clip because it doesn't make him look good. Are you trying to embarrass CM Punk? He told his side of things. I, I don't I don't I don't get how does this help other than temporary ratings. That's it. <clears throat> Unless they if anything, they probably should have shown this a while back if you're gonna create some type of angle out of it. That probably would have been the best time to really capitalize on it or whatnot. But instead, you show it damn near eight months after the fact. So I was already confused. But once again, I get why they did it because ratings. People are going to tune into the show now just to see what's going on. So you see the clip and I'm probably not going to post it here because I don't know how AEW is going to be with copyrights. I ain't trying to get a strike from these guys. So, uh, you know, if you want to see it, it's all over social media. It's all over Twitter, right? Saw the clip and you can see. CM Punk and Jack Perry get nose to nose, face to face, and some stuff, some words were exchanged. There's no audio. And then CM Punk gives him a mean push and decides to put my man, try to choke him out. <laughs> he didn't punch him, but he pushed him hard. And, and he, yeah, uh, Jack Perry really didn't get no type of offense in. He didn't stand a chance. I'm going to just be honest with you. He did not stand a chance. That first push looked like it pushed his soul out his body. <laughs> and then after that, he just proceeded to try to choke him out. Samoa Joe had to come in there and other producers had to break it up. But CM Punk was visibly pissed. He, You can see he was just fed up. And it leads to believe that's probably what was said. What you going to do about it? And CM Punk said, fuck it. I'm going to show you what I'm going to do about it. And he stood on business and that was happened. Now, here's the thing, guys. Wrestling has always had these, these situations, these, these little tense moments. It's always had that. Is it right? Some can say it's not. But at the end of the day, you got a lot of testosterone in the building. You got a lot of egos in the building. Sometimes things happen. Hell, it's not even just in wrestling. It happens in a lot of sports. I'm not sure if y'all know about the infamous story of uh, Michael Jordan and Steve Kerr at practice, and they got into it. And Michael Jordan punched him. Like, it was a real thing. And guess what? They ended up winning championships together. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, Michael Jordan trusted him on the court. You feel me? So it happens. I've seen it happen in just, you know, sports in general or just even with friends. Sometimes you get into it, you know? But at the end of the day, you know, you let bygones be bygones and you do what you got to do. You handle business. So... The fact that if somebody tries to say, oh, that's CM Punk's wrong for that, you can say that. But at the same time, Jack Perry was wrong for what he was doing out there and antagonizing CM Punk. And I don't I don't get the purpose of what why would you say that? Why why would you purposely try to rile somebody up, try to test somebody's ego or whatever the case? Some could say CM Punk should have walked away, but I think it was just a situation that CM Punk, he was just at the end of his, you know, his rope there. So, <clears throat> you can say both were wrong in the situation, but this happens. This happens, you know? And it's just one of those things where it's like, 
at the end of the day, this footage doesn't help AEW other than temporary ratings. It definitely doesn't help Jack Perry. And apparently, they were using this footage to set up the EVPs, the Young Bucks, going against FTR. And this is one of the reasons why they didn't want to shake the FT FTR's hand. At the end of that match when they lost, like they're trying to set this up to some storyline between these two teams. When it's like, why? What this, huh? Why, why? Why are we using this as some bridge jump off point? Like I don't know, man. I just feel like if I'm Tony Khan, if I'm upper management in AEW, there's no point in releasing this clip. It's not, it, it's not, it doesn't help anybody. Maybe back then, sure, you probably could have capitalized on it. But now, it's no point. It's a, it's literally a waste of everybody's time. People wanted to see it just to see the visual, the footage of it. Now that people saw it, then it's like, all right, cool. So you're setting up a match that I don't, I don't see as many people being interested in seeing. And for what? How does this benefit other than this week's rating boost? Does this carry over to next week? So I don't know, man. I don't know what they're doing. I, I, don't, I just don't think this was something that needed to be seen. But now that it's out there, it, it really just validates CM Punk's point that what he said more or less is what, what may have been the truth. I don't know, man. I just, I don't know, bro. <laughs> this is, it just doesn't make sense to me. Let me know down below, does this move make any lick of sense for AEW to be doing? Showing some old fight footage that happened months ago. All because CM Punk went on the podcast and told his side of the story. Does this make sense to y'all? Does this benefit AEW in the long run? Not just for this week. Will this help out their FTR versus the Young Bucks feud? Y'all truly let me know how y'all feel about it because me personally... All this did was show that CM Punk stood on business and Jack Perry got jacked up. That's about it. Comment down below. Let me know how y'all feel about it. But I appreciate all love support. Road to 150K. And I'm still young. Speedy YouTube Wrestling Champ of the World. Appreciate y'all kicking it with me. See y'all next one. Peace.